Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. We are in the tribe of Azwar and our colony is going well. We have a little hut set up, a shack. Um, we've got a, um, a campfire to cook food at. We've got sleeping spots to sleep in. We've got a prison set up ready for our first raid. And most importantly, we have our first harvest of rice coming in in probably the next couple of days. All right, so I think our plans for today are going to be expanding the base a little bit. Instead of having everything in one room, I'd like to start building separate rooms. And the first priority is going to be getting separate bedrooms for Manyaka and Tronka so that they can not have this awful mood penalty. Um, if we look at their needs, we can see awful barracks is giving them minus seven, ugly environment, minus 10 slept in the heat, slept on the ground, all these things we're gonna try to fix, disturbed sleep. Um, we can't fix them all, like slept in the heat. Unfortunately, until we get access to electronics, they're gonna be sleeping in the heat during the summertime and sleeping in the cold during the winter time. But um, we can try to give them a little bit of a prettier and nicer bedroom. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on to fast speed. And we're gonna get out our planning tool and we're gonna start planning some bedrooms. Now, looking at our plants, um, we have fertile land here, so this is probably where our agriculture is going to go mostly, right here, which means we'll probably repurpose this into a pantry, and once we get electronics, we'll turn it into a freezer, and we'll have an attached kitchen um, right here. Um, I think next to the pantry in the kitchen, we also wanna have a nearby dining room where uh, our pawns can go to eat their meals. Um, I think they get a decent mood uh, bonus for eating in a, a nice, impressive dining room. Um, so, with that all being said, I think then it would make sense to put their lodgings up here for the time being. And uh, we're just starting out, so we're gonna keep these lodgings pretty modest. Um, I think something like this will do. Um, this is one, two, three by one, two, three. A three by three grid is really everything they need for the time being. Okay, um, we're going to go into structure and let's go ahead and build some wood walls here to get this structure up and going. Funny, our bedrooms are actually the same size as the uh, prison cells. Think of that what you will. Oh, our prisoners are totally not, I mean our colonists are totally not prisoners. There you go, you heard me say it. Our colonists are prisoners. We're getting raided by the blue skunk combo. They will prepare a while then attack. Okay, is this it? Just the one? Let me just check all the edges of our map, make sure there's no other raiders coming in from other places. Yep, okay, there's just this one raider. Kamba. All right, equipped with a club. So range is gonna be good against her. And let's see what her bio is. Let's see if she's gonna be worth recruiting. Traits. Psychically hypersensitive. So she would be a good candidate to um, train with psychic powers. She's misandrist, so she believes in female supremacy. Okay. Um, that doesn't really matter much to us, and she has the bloodlust trait, which means that she gets a rush from um, fights. So she'll be happy when we get raids and we get uh, fighting happening. Um, decent, though her fighting skills are terrible. She's a good cook, uh, decent social and intellectual. I think this she's worth picking up just for these uh, social and intellectual traits and her cooking trait alone. Uh, Hopefully we can train her up to be a little better at fighting though. All right, she's gonna prepare for a while before attacking, it said. So we're not gonna go and rush to meet her in combat straight away. Though, we should think about where we want to engage her. She's going to have no cover as she crosses this river and she's gonna be crossing the river pretty slowly. Since she's equipped with a melee weapon, this would be a great time to take some pot shots at her while she's crossing the river. So I think we can probably put our colonists like here and here, and it's in a shooter while she's crossing the river. Tronka is a little far away for comfort. 
think we're gonna go ahead and move Tronka back. Alright, once Tronka is done with this. Alright, Tronka, I'm gonna move you back so we're ready for the raid. Minyaka's close by, so I don't feel the need to recruit Minyaka just yet. Okay, what's Tronka up to now? Tronka is harvesting the berry bush again. No, Tronka. You can eat something. Who's our cook? Manyaka, I need you to start cooking some food. Do we have any food to cook? Okay, they're beginning their assault, so we actually need to be ready. Down here. We don't need to worry about hiding our guys behind cover because they're only attacking us with a club. Okay, she's going to cross the river around here, so we want to meet her right here. All right, nice miss, nice hit. Shooting level six. All right, now we want to melee attack her with both of our pawns. I'm gonna turn off the ranged. All right, let's see what damages we've sustained in our colonist. Just a bruise on Manyaka, okay, that's great. A bruise and a crack, a cracked tibia um, on Tronka. No immediate danger, that's great. And Kamba, let's see what health. Kamba is addicted to Psychite. Ooh, that would have been worth checking out. I think she'll probably beat this addiction though just in, as in her time during jail. I think she'll probably go through withdrawal in jail and we'll probably have a couple of mental breaks to deal with from her, but I think we can beat this addiction. Um, and she has no permanent injuries, which is perfect. Um, and I think, yeah, she's only 26 years old, so she's, um, she's actually gonna be a promising uh, colonist for us. So let's go ahead and we can, is her club worth taking? Sure. It's always worth taking. We're not going to take the Psychite with us, um, though I think we should... We need to capture Kamba. That's not an option. Ah. We need to add a sleeping spot here, and we need to assign it to prisoners so that the game recognizes we have space for prisoners. Okay, now we should be able to capture her. Okay, Manyaka, I'm going to go ahead and unrecruit you. And you can do as you see fit. This jade, though, would be nice to haul back to the base. Actually, these berries are probably a more important priority. So go ahead and haul these berries. Is our prisoner in risk of at risk of dying anytime soon. 11 hours, no. Okay, we can safely get her back to the prison cell and tend her there. How are we doing with our rice? 90% grown, 81% grown, 82% grown. All right, I think we'll be harvesting some of this rice tomorrow. All right, Tronka, I'm gonna go ahead and unrecruit. Tronka needs to go and eat a meal straight away. I think Tronka can probably also refuel the campfire. I'm gonna go ahead and expand this zone so it fills the whole room. All right, we're gonna go ahead to this prisoner and we're going to set this prisoner to convert. That's gonna be our priority. We're gonna to try to convert the prisoner first and then recruit her. Hopefully she doesn't get an infection. That's the big risk we, we face. We tended her, I think, mostly without medicine and um, in a pretty dirty prison cell, so. 
We should probably build some wooden floors in this prison cell so we can keep it clean easier. Disease infection, exactly what I suspected. Um, so we need to treat her for infection. And I think our best course of action is going to be to harvest this. We're gonna find our best doctor. I don't know if it's, see medical one, medical zero. So our best doctor is gonna be Minyaka. Minyaka, I need you to, I'm gonna go ahead and assign Minyaka temporarily to plant cut. Go ahead, harvest this wild heel root. All right. Harvest botched, uh-oh. You know what, we probably just need to treat this as soon as possible. I don't think we can waste any more time trying to harvest seal root. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go to work and we're gonna unassign Minyaka from Plant Cut because she's really bad at it. Um, though we do need to harvest these heel roots. So I'm gonna go ahead and find some on the map and give the harvest order. So hopefully Tronka can get on it when he wakes up. Oh, I thought we had to do until. Do until you have 10, cook simple meal. Okay, good. We should be back on cooking things. Nyaka is in a very poor mood. She has an untreated bruise on her right ear. It's causing her a little bit of pain. So why is she in such a poor mood? Observed a rotting corpse, awful barracks, ate raw food, hungry, unsightly environment, recreation unfulfilled, minor pain, slept in the heat, slept on the ground. Okay, she has a lot of stuff to complain about. A lot of stuff to complain about. Well, we are addressing this as soon as possible by getting these bedrooms up. So hopefully she won't have the awful barracks penalty. And as soon as we get enough leather, we can see about making some bed rolls. What's that gonna cost us? Light leather. So it's gonna cost us 40 if we wanna make a bed roll. Do we have 40 of anything? We have 40 light leather. So there's no reason we can't make a light leather bed, bed roll. We're gonna go ahead and make one right here. So we got bedrooms sorted out. I think we're gonna turn this into a pantry and we'll probably move this prison cell somewhere else. Um, in fact, it might make sense to move the prison cell. Cause I, I wanna put a, a, dining, a dining room up here. I think this would be the logical place for a dining room and we can put the kitchen maybe back here attached to the pantry. Minyaka, no, don't feed him raw meat. Oh my gosh, we need to get back on cooking meals. All right, how is this infection coming along? Comba. Infection major. Immunity is more than 10% behind the infection. Okay. We really need to prioritize getting this medicine. Harvest this heal root, please. And this heal root. Kamba has gone berserk. Manyaka, I'm gonna go and need you to deal with this. Okay, Kamba's berserk rage has come to an end. Manyaka, go ahead and capture her and tend to her. Unfortunately, yeah, this isn't happening. We're getting even further behind. Immunity is at 53%, infection is at 68%. Probably doesn't help that she's going through withdrawal at the same time and is injured with several knife wounds. 
We need some steel to finish our research bench. Let's go ahead and give some mine, some mining orders here and here. Actually, our colonists have extremely low mining skills. We should probably deconstruct things with steel in them instead, like an ancient generator. This will probably yield some steel for us. The infection can be tended in five hours. I don't even think it's worth wasting our um, our medicine on this anymore. She's not gonna make it. At some point you just gotta call it. She can receive doctor care but without medicine. Okay, it is a new morning and Menyaka is continuing work on the new bedrooms. We have enough light leather for one bedroll, which is great news. So at least one of them will hopefully not have the sleep slept on the floor mood penalty. Our meat is rotting away in storage, which is unfortunate, but there's not much we can do about that. Tronka needs to get to work. Tronka is just going to sleep all day at this rate. Oh my gosh. Who is assigned to cooking? Tronka is. Tronka? I need you to prioritize cooking at the campfire. No more eating raw meat. Kamba has died of an infection. That's real unfortunate. We need to create a dumping stockpile zone. Somewhere out of the way, where we're not going to have to encounter it on a daily basis. And we'll put all our corpses there. I think here is a decent space to put all our corpses. So we're going to go to storage. We're going to say priority is critical. We're going to clear all, and we're only going to allow human corpses. Um, and we're only going to allow stranger corpses. We don't want any colonists. Okay, so all our dead bodies will be quartered over there. I don't think we're gonna give graves to all the raiders who attack us because there are just far too many of them to give each of them a grave. Only our colonists will be buried in a proper, given a proper burial. All right, good, we have some meals again. And our rice looks like it's ready to harvest. So Tronka, Can probably get to harvesting the rice. Okay, after he's he's done this, I'm gonna clear his prioritized work and he's gonna go and probably prioritize harvesting the rice field. We have a bulk goods trader coming. See if they are willing to buy anything off of us so we can get some silver stockpiled. We have a lot of bulk wood. Might be worth selling them some of that. All right, Manyaka. Let's come here and trade with Rupemite. They're willing to buy bird skin off of us. I'm okay with that. But we have 34, that's almost enough to make a bed roll out of. Maybe we'll hold on to our bird skin for now. I'll go ahead and sell our lizard skin. That's all they're willing to buy from us. Okay, that's fine. That's gonna get us 40 silver. Is there anything we can buy in return for 40 silver that might be worth our time? We don't need food. We're actually good on food for the moment. I think we're just gonna keep the silver. Maybe next time somebody comes around selling something interesting, we'll have the silver to afford it. I think Tronka is prioritizing cooking over harvesting food, which I'm not a fan of. We might need to start looking into manually assigned priorities. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give a chop wood order here so Tronka can get on chopping those for Manyaka, whose plant cutting skill is terrible. Manyaka has a plant skill of one. You know what? That'll be work for tomorrow. That'll be work for tomorrow. 
All right, so it is morning and Minyaka is back at it, building our new bedrooms. Tranka is awake eating breakfast. And I think our first priority for Tranka is going to be harvesting these trees. And then, um, of course, Tranka can go and harvest some rice plants as well. Oh. Prioritize harvesting poplar tree. Prioritizing ho prioritize harvesting. Okay, prioritize harvesting. Good. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, now we've got two rooms all set and ready. We can go ahead and have Manyaka prioritize the bedroll. Okay, Manyaka is already on it. All right, Tranka is going to continue harvesting the rice, hopefully. Quest active, young vagabonds hope for resources. A group of poor children are, are approaching and looking for help. The children are begging for 30 silver. They want the silver so they can buy back a friend who was recently kidnapped. Hmm, I think we're too poor to help them. They can go look for help elsewhere. I think we have like 40 silver. That's almost everything we own. Poor kids. But unfortunately, there's not much we can do. Let's go ahead and assign this, and let's assign this to Minyaka. Okay, Minyaka is hauling the dead body out of the prison cell and into our corpse zone, which is good. Tronka finally has 10 simple meals stockpiled for us. Which is great news. Okay, we're no longer going to be starving. So our next order of business is going to be, if we're going to make this our pantry, is going to be building a kitchen, a dining room, and then a proper storage room separate from the pantry. Let's go ahead and get out our planning tool. And let's see how we might want this um, dining room to look. I like having at least three space in between buildings, so I think we're gonna bring the dining room out to here. So we can have this little three-way corridor. And we can probably have this dining room double as a throne room once we start to get some royalty in the tribe. So we're gonna go ahead and make it pretty big. In fact, we can probably make it even bigger. It's gonna be a lot of unused space for the t for now, but eventually we'll fill it all up and we'll make it look real grand. This dining room can probably double as a production space as well until we get those separate production spaces built up. That means that we're going to need a separate prison somewhere else, and I think the best spot for a prison is probably going to be um, right back here, behind our housing. So we're going to go ahead and build ourselves a prison cell right here. We go into structure, we can go ahead and build a wooden wall. We can go ahead and build a wooden door. We can get our new prison set up and we can start building our dining room. And our research bench is up and going. Fantastic. I haven't seen anyone research. That'll probably happen mostly in the winter when we have less uh, farming work to do. We could probably also do with getting one or two more colonists uh, to help us with the backlog of work we have doing. If you look at this hut, it's absolutely filthy. I'm gonna go ahead and build wooden floors in our bedrooms and in the prison. Go ahead and deconstruct the sleeping spot. 
We're gonna go to furniture and we're gonna make a new sleeping spot right here for Chanka. We're also gonna make another sleeping spot right here for our prisoner. And we're gonna set this to be for prisoners. All right. We need to get Tranka assisting with chopping wood here because Manyaka is way too slow. Fantastic. What is Tranka up to? Relaxing socially? It's kind of hard to relax socially when there's no one to socialize with. Tranka might be a little bit of a loner. Look at Manyaka prioritizing the prison cell over her own bedroom. Interesting priorities. Look at all of this rice. I don't think we're going to be starving anytime soon. There's that. If we go to research, um, I think our first research should be complex clothing. We need to be able to um, sew some, what are they, parkas. That's what we want. I don't see that on this list, but we want to be able to make parkas for the winter so we don't freeze to death. Yeah, why isn't Parka on this list? Am I just... Is it right there and I'm not seeing it? There's a chance we might already be able to build Parkas. I don't know. Uh, we should probably haul this out of here. And we can go ahead and build an entry into the dining room. I think we're going to go ahead and put a door here and then into the pantry we're going to want an airlock. Uh, we don't need an airlock yet because we don't have any, um, we don't have it as a freezer. So we're fine. We're doing just fine. All right. Look at this. We've almost got a huge, giant, all-purpose room. Until we get separate production rooms, I think instead of calling this the dining room, we're gonna just call this the all-purpose room. We can probably build a separate entrance to this room from the pantry. And I think if we have dining room slash throne room here and we have pantry here and we have kitchen here might be worth building maybe production and stockpiles over here housing up here I think that makes sense I have been a little overzealous with the size of this room I think it might make sense to make it longer and uh, narrower, but we're doing fine for just now. Summer has arrived, so we've gotten one harvest out in the spring. Hopefully we can get one out in the summer and one out in the fall. Three harvests of rice should see us through the winter. All right, so it is morning and Chanka is re-sowing the fields. Hopefully we'll get some someone to do all this hauling. I think Tranka is prioritizing making meals over anything else. We're gonna have to see to these work priorities soon. It's not ideal the way it is right now. Anyaka is wasting time meditating when there's plenty of work to be done. That's good. Tranka is chopping trees, at least. All right, fantastic. We've got this space fully enclosed. It's going to cost us a lot of wood to floor this, so before we floor it, I'm actually gonna have Tranka just go out and chop a bunch of wood for us. We can clear out some more growing space. Do either of our colonists have a decent animal skill? 
Animal six, yes. So we should see about starting to grow some hay before it's too late. Zone, growing zone. Let's make a growing zone right here. And let's see if we can grow um, a bunch of hay. Plant hay grass. We can also order structure. We can build a fence and get ready for some alpaca farming. But there's a timber wolf that's attacking Tronka. Interesting. Is there an option to have follow master while drafted? Come to our defense, please. Maybe he needs to be trained up and attack, though. Alright. Going toe to toe with a wolf is probably not going to pan out well for us. What's the damage? Tronka only has two bites. Could have been worse. Um, Manyaka, I need you to continue attacking this wolf. Tronka, you can get yourself some rest. All right, Manyaka, I need you to prioritize tending to Tronka. Already tending to Tronka. Fantastic. Good lot of help you were, Goliath. Let's go to training, and let's train Goliath to attack and haul. Uh, maybe we should do these one at a time. Let's train Goliath to attack first. We can set the master to be... I think we're gonna have it set to Minyaka since Minyaka is our melee person. All right. Tending him with medicine, so hopefully he shouldn't get an infection. It's also pretty clean here, so that should also help ward against an infection. I think I missed a spot for the floors. All right, two wounds, 11.7 damage and 9.1 damage. So these are gonna take a while to heal, unfortunately. I think we'll pro Tronco will probably be out of action, out of commission for the next day or two. How are we doing on leather? Still not enough to make a second bed roll. All right, let's go ahead and floor this new multi-purpose room. And in the multi-purpose room, we can move our table. So we can reinstall the table. Um, let's just have the table pushed up against the wall for now. And we can move these stools. It's an awful stool. You know what? Beggars can't be choosers. We'll build better furniture once we research better furniture. We can probably move these steel urns as well. Increase the decor in this place. We'll move our research bench. Um, we can have our research bench probably in the far corner. Why not? a normal wooden stool for the research bench and then we can um, probably next thing on the order of things to do is going to be to build a main stockpile so that we can specialize this as a food stockpile so if we have all our fields right here we can probably our main production center here so our stockpile is going to need to be pretty large 
just to future proof this. And then off of this stockpile zone, we can have different wings. We can have, you know, a stone cutting section. We can have a tailoring section. We can have a weapon crafting section. Um, and I think we'll just have those wings kind of come off of each side. We'll have a bunch of entrances. Um, so for example, this could be a wing. You could even cut it in half. Oh, I don't like that it's not even. We're gonna extend this out one longer so it's even. There we go. We're getting raided again. They are preparing before they attack. They're wasters from the um, Cancer Gang. What a name. The Cancer Gang. All right, who are we up against? Armed with a steel club, female, age 62. I mean, if we can't heal, if we can't deal with a 62 year old with a club, then I don't hold out high hopes for this colony. Hopefully this should be no problem at all. We're not gonna recruit her because she's a waster and I think the deal is with wasters is that they require certain drugs to survive. Drugs that we are not in the business of buying or producing ourselves, so they were, they're just not feasible for us to recruit at all. We can probably have our cooking in the multi-purpose room instead of having a separate kitchen. Though actually for cleanliness reasons, it's probably worth having a separate kitchen so people aren't walking in and out of it all the time. We'll go ahead and build our kitchen right here. It'll be small, nothing too fancy. We can go ahead and build a door right here, and we can go ahead and build a campfire right there. All right, the wasters are beginning their assault, so we're going to go ahead and need to recruit our colonists. Um, they're not armed with any ranged weapons, so we don't need to worry about cover. So we're just going to go ahead and be right here and prepare for her attack. Way to miss. Tronka never seems to hit. All right, our dog is attacking. We should go ahead and attack as well. I'm gonna go ahead and have you melee attack Levine as well. Three on one, we should win this. Perfect, I don't think we took a single bit of damage. Yep, we didn't take a single bit of damage. All right. The club, we can probably take. The beer, we can take. Ooh, we're calling this Aaron for a treat. I think we're starting to train the dog as well. Let's see if we're successful. Ah, we failed. 60% chance though, that's a really decent chance. I think dogs are pretty easy to train in this game, compared to some other animals. If we're going to have our pantry here and our fields here, I think it's probably worth having our alpaca pasture somewhere here. We can have the barn um, close to the fields, that's where we'll store all our hay. Let's actually build the barn first. We'll keep a, a hallway of you know, three tiles in between all of our buildings. And our barn can be something simple, nothing too fancy, something like this. Um, let's see, we'll create an animal flap out of bird skin, why not? Oops, we don't want a door as well. We want a wooden wall. 
Next to this, we can build a bunch of fences. Oh, we're out of wood. Yikes. We have some chopping to do. Tronka will get on it. I think Tronka just needs to heal up first. All right, so it's morning and overnight Tronka has fully healed. So hopefully Tronka will be able to start on all of this wood harvesting for us. And Manyaka will be able to start construction of our barn. Once we get some more wood, we can uh, give some orders to build wood fencing around this barn, create a small pasture for our alpacas to um, live in, and then we can start trying to tame some alpacas. As I mentioned in the last episode, the reason why we want to tame alpacas specifically is because they have really warm wool that when harvested we can make into warm winter clothes which we will need to survive in the winter since we don't have much in the way of ventilation and heating other than campfires, which are require a lot of wood to keep burning. Are there any wildlife we could be hunting? I don't think we need to hunt any wildlife. I think we got plenty of food as it is. Do we though? Did we cook all that rice up immediately? Wow. I thought this rice would be enough, this field would be enough, but apparently it's not. Oh, okay, we're gonna need some columns to support the roof in this room. Um. We'll get on that as soon as we have some wood. All right, we'll build some wood columns here and here. I think this is even and centered. All right, and we have successfully trained our dog to haul one level out of two levels. I think this means that our dog will start hauling already, but until we get it to two out of two, our dog will slowly forget um, the training. So in order to lock it in, we need to get it to two out of two. And I think this is probably a good stopping point for the episode. We've made good progress. We've defended two raids so far um, and an attack from a dangerous wolf. We have built a new multi-purpose room, which we will have all of our production set up in for the time being. Uh, we are in the process of building a new kitchen. We have built bedrooms. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get our farming of alpacas up and going next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.